Hi everyone, Pastor Adam here, your Lutheran on location, and I'm in a great location right now. I'm uh, out in the middle of uh, Lake George with my good friend Chris out on his boat. It was an impromptu invitation. The boat's got to come out of the water, and uh, we had an opportunity to be together today uh, over at the hospital helping out some of the family and commending people to the Lord. Uh, this is uh, one of those things as a pastor that I get to do to be able to hold somebody by the hand and bring them closer to that time that the Lord's gonna call them home. And when that happens, I get to kind of get to the cusp of the promise that God's laid out in front of us. As a pastor, I've had chances to be with people who have lived a really, really long time and, and they wonder why. I've heard it a lot of times where people have said, Pastor, why hasn't God taken me home yet? And because I'm just a mortal, I say, I don't know. Um, the Lord has his purposes and plans, and he's, and he's with you. But you've got to be patient. And uh, one thing that I know about me and my friend Chris, who is a doctor, knows about me, is that I am a, a very impatient patient. Um, as you know, I will... Uh, drive around miles and miles of traffic completely far out of my way just to avoid sitting behind somebody else. When I want to see change in me and, and in others, I, I don't want to wait for that growth to come. I, I just want it to happen now. I don't think many of us are particularly patient. And when people have troubles with patience uh, and have told me about it, I've reminded them of what patience really is. Um, it's not a spiritual gift. It's not some sort of grace that God pours into some people and not into another. Patience is the byproduct of trouble. <laughs> uh, the old King James Version of the Bible uh, uses a different word than patience. It uses long-suffering. Long-suffering doesn't sound like any fun, does it? Uh, it's something that requires some endurance, requires kind of keeping some perspective and being able to see the long game, the long answers, while the short-term things are really just raging all around you. Whether it's medical diagnoses or family troubles or job circumstances or problems with your own spirit or soul that you want to see change right away, what God actually may be calling you to rather than immediate growth and, and good, is to turn to him and to recognize the goodness of what lies in front of you. Um, out here on uh, Lake George, and it's just started to rain a little bit, and into every life it said, uh, a little rain must fall. And for some people, a lot of rain has fallen. Some people have more than their fair share of bad to deal with. Struggles and sadnesses and all those things. I think about the folks that this is their daily bread and still they have joy. That was one of those other fruits of the Spirit we were speaking of a couple of weeks ago. Patience is really affected and grows by joy. Remember that the fruits of the Spirit are available to and designed for every Christian. It's not like some people get peace and some people get patience and some people get joy and others get love. No, all nine of them are for all of us. And so you have to have first a, an understanding and a grasp of God's love for you, how precious you are to him the lengths to which he would and, and did go so that you could be his own. He loves you with an everlasting love, and that will never fade away. And that, my friends, brings joy. Joys here on earth, things like, you know, being out with a friend on a boat in a beautiful place. It gets in deeper than that. It gets to a satisfaction that no matter how bad it gets in the world, it's well with our soul. That's joy. And that brings about a peace. Peace is that third of the fruits of the Spirit that allows you to take what you have and share it with somebody else. 
we're called to be peacemakers. It's good to have peace in ourselves, but that peace is then shared. And I have to say, Chris did a great job of sharing some peace with me today in this beautiful place. I hope I brought some peace to his family as we commended his uncle to the Lord. But peace and patience are interrelated. Patience is for when people aren't at peace. Patience is for when other people are all up in your grill, when you can't stand what's going on, when other people have deep, deep requirements of you and deep, deep expectations that you can't meet. Patience allows you to play the long game and to say, you know, the time is coming when I'm not going to have to worry about all this. That God's got it taken care of. The time is coming, and who knows when that may be, that God is going to make all the wrong right. That the evil I see in the world one day will go away, and the sins that I have to deal with day by day, those will be a thing of the past too. Patience long-suffering, is something that our Lord is familiar with. And he's the one that's working it in us. I used to joke with people to say, never ever pray for patience because you'll get the trouble that'll teach this to you. Uh, I've since moved away from saying, don't pray for it. But if you pray for it, expect circumstances that are going to need it, and then expect that the Lord who's brought you to those circumstances is going to stay with you right in them. I'm praying for your patience. I hope you pray for mine. Would you join me in a word of prayer now? Heavenly Father, it's good to be here. Out on a boat with a friend in Lake George. It's a place that gives me great peace, which increases my ability for patience. But it's also good to be here in a world that requires it. Because we know you supply it. So, Lord, if you are bringing us to circumstances where we do have suffering, and maybe sometimes long suffering, we ask that you would be with us in every moment of it, to never turn away from us, to make us more and more aware of your presence, and to keep us in the directions and the purposes that you've designed for us since the beginning of time. Lord, you've been long suffering with us. You have stayed in there and stuck with us through thick and thin. Grant us, Lord, your spirit and this special fruit of the spirit, patience, so that in every way we also might be more like you. We pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So it's getting dark now. I can barely see myself on the camera, which means you can barely see me now. Uh, next time you'll see me, I suppose it's going to be in worship this weekend. So we'll be there on Saturday at 4 p.m., Sunday again at 10 a.m., if you're there in person, I'll greet you with a smile and a hug, and it'll be great to see you. And if you're going to be out there online, boy, that'll be great for us to see you there too. I'll wave at you and say nice things to you and remind you of this wonderful gift of patience and what our Lord is able to do with us when we are patient as he is. So until that time comes, God's blessings and peace be with you, and we'll see you again soon. Take care and good night.